If you are new, welcome. If not, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be going over the GoPro app. Once downloaded, open the app. You will be brought to this page, Terms of Use. Acknowledge. If you say no thanks, you will not be able to use the app. So agree. Send personalization data. Basically, GoPro is collecting data and using it to improve its products and your experience. It will still collect data if you don't agree. So I click agree anyways. Take a tour or sign in. You can sign in manually here. Log in with your Apple ID or continue with Facebook. Now if you forgot your password, you can click this and you will be brought to the GoPro website and hopefully they will send you an email after you figure that out. Once you're in, you go up here to the settings. You can subscribe to GoPro. Unlimited cloud storage. Total camera replacement, 50% off at GoPro. So you have $49.99 a year or $4.17 a month. Try it free for 30 days and then after that it's $49.99 a year. Cancel any time. And the monthly trial is $4.99 a month. The cheaper one is the $49.99 in the long run. After that, you would be paying $58 for the monthly subscription. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do down below and smash that thumbs up button. You have your account, your account info, GoPro subscription, camera auto upload. Right here we have preferences. Always enable camera preview. This will use more battery. You could also send personalization data, toggle this on or off. You can allow notifications. So when you're connecting your GoPro, you'll see the notifications in your drop down panel. Right here you have clear downloaded songs. So any songs that you have saved on your device, this will clear it, which will save space. Support website or send feedback. So if you have any questions, any troubles, support website is here. It will bring you to this page and you can send feedback, sign out on the bottom. Now up here you have this little camera logo, connect a GoPro. Now they will ask you for your location permission, enable, searching for your camera. Now your GoPro must be on for this to work with a bunch of cameras and we will select the Hero 7 and it gives you directions. Swipe down and tap preferences, tap connections and connect device, tap the GoPro app, to see your camera's ID and password. GoPro app, okay. Preferences, connections, connect to GoPro app. Now once it finds the GoPro, it will show you here. It says, we found your GoPro, connect or not my camera. Not my camera will bring you back to this page and you can try again. Now right here, you will be brought to a screen where you can change your GoPro name. Right now it's Shawnee's GoPro. You can leave the GoPro as is or create a new name. Your Hero 7 White is ready. Let's go. Once you open this, you will see a live view of what your GoPro sees. Now, if it doesn't connect, you will be given a pop-up. We had trouble connecting with your GoPro. It will give you instructions on what to do. And you can try again if the issue persists. On the top left, you have the storage space, the Wi-Fi connection, and the battery on your GoPro. Right here you can power it off. So that's done, you will be brought back to this screen. Control your GoPro view media or set auto upload. We had trouble connecting with your GoPro. Down here you have a little slider. Hit the circle to capture a video. Hit the red circle to stop. That was a time lapse video. Right here you have a normal video, 1440 by 30. And if you want, you can highlight. And right here you have the camera. Now when you open up the camera, the field of view will be a little bit wider than when you're taking a video. I'll show you how many photos you have left. You can zoom in if you want. The resolution will be much worse, but it's still a zoom feature. Right here you can view all of your photos and videos. It shows where the highlight is. Hit right here to share, save to app, allow. This will be added to your mural. And these three dots right here, you can click info, photo, captured when, the size 2.58, and the resolution 10 megapixels. And on the video, you can edit with these little scissors here. 
Maybe you want this right here and it will keep these few seconds instead of the whole video. You can save, hit share, and you can share with your friends and family. Click done. You can grab a photo, hit save. When you're viewing videos on this, it will be a low res preview until you download the actual video. Download a video, view media once it's done. And this is the actual resolution. This isn't a low res preview. So press and hold on this. Right here you can create a little GoPro movie and you will be given music, my edit, the little video, and the GoPro logo. And add more media to this so that way your video is longer. And down here you have different themes, different music, no music, your duration, maybe you want to share to Instagram, 15 seconds. You could also change the aspect ratio. Maybe you're sharing it for a video for school. Hit save and it will be formatted. And here's your little video. You can also add to event. Right here you can set up cloud storage and not have access to that unless you're subscribed. Now if you want to get rid of something, press and hold. Hit this little trash can. And now it's gone. Get rid of these right here. Delete. Hit these three dots up here, change the title. You can duplicate the file, so now you have two. And now that it's not there, it will give you that error. We can delete this too, delete the media. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure where the trash can is for this app, so anything you delete is going to be gone completely. Right here, set up auto upload. You will have to be subscribed to GoPro. For this to work and you have a little view of all of your edits media and down here you go to your settings you have your mode settings 10 megapixels that's as far as you can go voice control enable now you can't just sit here and say GoPro capture video that doesn't work so GoPro capture video. You can change the language here to these different languages. You also have LED blank on. So when you're recording, the LED will be blinking on both sides. You can also turn this so the front is off so people don't know that you are recording. So now I'm recording. You will not see a red indicator, but you will on the back side. Quick capture, this enables you to quickly capture a photo or video with the sync press of a button. See now it will capture. You have the default mode, video, photo, or time lapse. You have auto off, 5 minutes, 15, 30, or never. I keep it at 5, save the battery. Screen saver, when you're recording a video, it will turn off the screen and it will still record the footage. Here we have auto lock. Swipe down on your screen, hit the lock button, and now your screen is locked. So if you're underwater or maybe you're running around, it won't accidentally take photos or videos. Swipe down to unlock, and now you have access to the 15 second clip slow motion and zoom. You can turn it back. LCD brightness. This will change the brightness of your GoPro. Maybe a lower brightness will save some battery. You have the landscape lock off, up and down. Let's say down. This will change the orientation of the screen. See it's stuck this way. You have sideways here. And you have down, so it's upside down. So if you're recording up in the air and you have this underneath, you can view the screen this way. You have different languages here. Video format, NTSC, or PAL. You can set the date and time, and it will automatically set. Now you can delete the last file from your SD card, or delete all. Right here you have the camera info and your version. Now the locate camera. This will beep. 
Now if you have a GoPro with a GPS in it, it will most likely give you a location. Right here you have the smart remote. I do not have a smart remote. I'm just going to skip that. You have the voice remote as well. Bluetooth devices, you click on this. Connect a new device. Say you have another GoPro. You have the list of things here. Search again. You have your camera status. Battery level is at 68%. And down here you have the SD card capacity. Videos on the card, 10. Videos time remaining, 13 hours and 46 minutes. Photos on card, 3. Photos remaining, 36,000. Okay, click done. Now to take a tour, you're going to want to download some of the media that you have captured. So right here I'm just going to download these two items. You can click that right there. Tap here to get started. And it will show you a tour of the app pretty much. Share this. Save to your phone. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out my other GoPro video that I made right here.